Beijing like the Mughals, uh, she even makes these uh, uh, makes these elephants pose with their mahouts in the family estate in Saraya to create a painting. <laughs> that's uh, that's the family house in Saraya, and she makes them pose, and she also likes to bring in the white of the family house. Where is the right? No, it's in Gorakhpur. In oh, Mumbai. Right, yes. The family had and has still an estate there. When Amrita and Victor uh, left and started living there, uh, it was a big sugar factory run by the family. Elephants, this is a beautiful work. I just said so. Oh my god, look at the cracks on my so uh, while she's, uh, you know, uh, what happened was after she got married to Victor, she came back to Shimla. There was a kind of disjuncture between Victor and herself and her parents. Partly because she married a first cousin and partly because um, Victor was a humble sort of person, but very quiet and he was a doctor and the mother had high ambitions for Amrita. So she kind of... Uh, didn't treat him too well as her letters revealed. And she kind of marginalized him so much so that he would be a little scared of the mother, Maria Archman. And uh and was Maria the mother. Ooh. And uh, you know, Amrita uh, Victor, uh, when he would hear her footsteps of own hide in the bathroom, he was a very reticent person. So the situation was becoming unbearable and the young couple didn't have too much money. Uh, Amrita was an artist and in those days, you know, if you could sell one painting, you were very lucky. Today her paintings fetch crows. And Victor had come back to India for her. Otherwise he was a doctor and he was set up well or could have set himself up well in Budapest. But he came back for her, so he hadn't really established himself. He had very little money, so finally uh, it was, uh, you know, a, a, no win situation, but um, a cousin of theirs said, Look, why don't you leave Shibla then and come and live in the family estate in Saraya? And so they went, and they had just one home in that family house. And Victor started practicing as a doctor, and uh, Amrita was great. So here, uh, although she felt very isolated, but here also, in one sense, it was good. She experienced a reality outside the sheltered realms of her house. And she got close to women, and she saw many women working in the fields. She watched uh, the ordinary folk, and many of her paintings of this period uh, are some of her best works. So, what we see here is all at Saraya in Gorakhpur. This is the family house, the majestic family house. And here she's posed uh, elephants. This would be early 1940? Okay. This would be 1940. Yeah. So was she known then? Sorry? Was she well known by then? No, no. She was not well known at all. So how did she meet Nehru? She met Nehru um, earlier at an exhibition in Delhi at the Imperial Hotel. He came to her exhibition and of course, like everyone else, he was very drawn to her and also to the work. From the work is different from what has been done. And uh, they did become friends. Uh, but that is earlier, even before her marriage. This is a wonderful study. Uh, wonderfully modulated exercise in uh, black, orange, and auburn. Also, she, uh, you know, when she was a little girl in Budapest, they had gone for a year, they had to stay on for 10 years because the war broke out. So. The money had stopped coming to uh, Mariyajana and Omrao Singh, her parents. 
So they had to shift to the countryside to a family house. And this, they had very little money, they had to make ends meet. And Amrita grew up, uh, her first years as a little girl was spent in the countryside with Hungarian folk myths, animals, plants, vegetation. And here, as we are nearing the end of her life, as uh, for me, it's like a full circle. She's coming back to, you know, animals, and she started studying animals. This is a wonderful study of camels. And um, then a wonderful work uh, called The Ancient Storyteller, where um, we have the impassiveness of the majestic Vajitya uh, state, and in front of them uh, you have, you know, ordinary children and the storyteller, a woman pounding rice, and uh, also somehow it's a poignant work. Uh, she always felt that uh, she wouldn't live long. Uh, she would tell her husband Victor that I must work, I must work, I must sleep as much as possible because I've got no time, I've got no time. So somehow she sensed, uh, she was very young, she was 27 or 28, and um, she, uh, these are her last paintings. When is that finished work? We're coming to that. So as we move to uh, her last works, this is the final work she made, uh, which was complete. The musicians and use of white. And uh, of course, the only one living in Saraya, um, a painter needs uh, stimulation, and Amrita was always, uh, you know. She, she needed the company of her folks. <laughs> and Victor too, because they were earning very little there, you know, and her paintings hardly sold. So they decided to move to Lahore, the place where she really liked, and it was a very vibrant city. And um, they, uh, September 1941, they shift to Lahore. They find a three-story house where the bottom is, uh, the ground floor is Victor's clinic, the middle floor is where they live, and the topmost is her studio. So we come to the last work, where, um, Uh, 